Hi everyone, Christy here with MyMommyTaughtMe.com. Just gonna give it a second to reach some people. Uh, tonight we are going to be making some photo, well, you can do photos. I don't know what to call them really. They're just uh, little gems with designs magnets. on them. Yeah, gem magnets or, I don't know what I called them before. Whatever you wanna do with them. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have my two daughters here helping me. They will be creating their own and showing you what they are making. Just getting it up so I can see if there's. Okay. There we go. All right. So hopefully I don't bump the camera too much here. All right, so here are what we're going to be making. These are ones that my kids made for me a couple years ago. They are super cute. You can totally put a magnet on the back, but I just left them like these, and I have them on my computer desk where I work. So we are going to go ahead and make some and show you how we do it. It is super easy. The girls are over here, and they're making theirs. I thought having it at this angle may be the easiest for you guys, so that way you can actually see the craft well. Um, and go ahead and if you guys have any questions while I'm doing it, go ahead and ask. I'm trying to pay attention over here to my computer screen, but I also will answer them if I miss them, okay? So first things first, you can either use, I use actually just printer paper because we have it. So super easy, you take your, your gem and I have the kids trace around it or you can trace around like that. So then you do your design in it. My girls are going to use their markers and create their designs just like they did on these other ones. There you go. So I got these gems right here. You can find these bags at the dollar store or Dollar Tree, and I got them for a dollar. So they have different colors too. I find that clear works best so that you can see the image through it, your artwork. So I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, let's see, what do I wanna do? I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple real quick to show you. I'm going to be using some cardstock paper Oops, I hit the I hit the thing. I knew I was gonna do that. Sorry guys. So I actually found these at Walmart, you guys. If you're not familiar, um the craft stores sell these too, but they're like twenty dollars or so. Um the last time I checked at least. It seems like they are. Um and it has all these different designs in them. I found them for ten dollars at Walmart. I think it was ten, was it ten? Were you with me? Yeah, it was with me. Yeah. I wanna say it was ten. Fifteen at the most. I definitely it definitely wasn't definitely, that expensive. And maybe twelve. So I think it was twelve, maybe. Yeah. I don't know what one I wanna do. Kind of like that. So when you're doing it, as you can see, these gems are different shapes. So make sure that you keep track of which one goes where because as you're tracing them, they're not going to be exactly the same size. Let me know when you guys are done. Ooh, Emma's doing a rainbow. And let me know too, guys, if you've ever done this craft before. I'd love to hear if you guys have done it. We did it a couple years ago. And I think we did it last year, actually, too, didn't we? Didn't we make some yeah. for Mimi last year? Yeah, yeah. And for I Mother's did, Day. For Mother's Day, yep. Yeah, I did Mom some. did totals. I do have it, and I'll link it after here. Oh, wow. What did I do? I forgot which one I used. Um... For Mother's Day last year, we made some with some inspirational um, sayings on them. So I will link that after I'm done here, too, for you guys. And you can see those uh, pictures that we did last year for them. 
And I think we might have made magnets last year. Yeah, we did. Didn't we? Yeah, she has them and on I think her refrigerator. We, does she? Mm -hmm. So, if you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm going around the trim. Because even though I, I uh, used my pencil, there's a flat surface on these. And I, I kind of want it to fit perfectly. And after cutting it, it, it's a little lipped. So, I don't, I want it to fit snugly on the bottom. Uh, I know it's probably hard to tell. So I kind of just take my scissors and trim around the edge a little bit more until it's more flush. You're almost done. Ooh. So then I also got this at the Dollar Tree as well for a dollar. Can't go wrong there. And then I, I use these. I hear that the foam brushes are best for uh, doing the Mod Podge. So I got these at Mommy. AC Moore. Okay. Ooh. So I'm going to do mine, and then we're going to do Emma's next. So I think last time we just used Elmer's glue. So if you don't have um, this. I'm so I'm fairly new at using this stuff. I've been using it on my wood signs. Um, trying to figure out how to add some paper. Ooh, pretty some paper accents to my wood creations. So, if you guys have any tips for me on how to use them. Oh, Karen says to use a circle punch. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. So I've read that when you use the Mod Podge, a good idea, perfect, is to do two coats. They say to do your first one to glue the paper on, and then you gotta let the paper dry. I think they said, I don't know how long they said. I read a lot of things and I forget, you guys. Maybe you all know, I'm not a pro. Yep. So you let it dry and then I think you can do another layer to help seal it. So that's what that looks like. I can't see, where am I? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yep. Let's turn it slow. And see, these would be great for little magnets, too. Actually, do we have them? Go look. Isn't there one on the fridge, a magnet? Yeah. So you can buy little magnets. I think they sell magnets at the dollar store. Maybe not. It's been a while. I know I have a stack of them somewhere in my craft bin. Does anybody else have, like, a ton of crafts and bins, and it's always hard to figure out where you put them or where they are because you have, like, 10 billion spots for them? <laughs> That's my problem. So then I'm like, when I'm out and I see something, I will not buy it. Yep, so you have room. You can do oh, yours right guys. here. Going out on the fridge. Because I know I have it at home. Nice. So here's Emma's. Emma did a rainbow. Look how pretty that is. So, Emma, you can go ahead. How much and, do I so, put on, though? Um, I'll squirt it on for you. Here you go. Okay. Well, we don't really know. That's the best thing about crafts, though. Typically, go ahead and put it on there. Come on. I was trying to get it down. You don't on have this? to. Yep. That's the best thing about crafts, though. You don't have to be perfect at doing it. It's your <laughs> own creation. That's what I always tell my girls when we're we're doing stuff. We do a lot of. We, it's my, dripping a little. Yep. Oh. I did a sunflower. Two sunflowers. Is that good enough? Let's see. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Thanks. <laughs> Craft hoarder. Yeah. That sounds sounds like me and my mom. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you saw here you go, Jenna. Thank you. Okay. I'll go ahead and put the paper on. If you guys saw my mom's crafts, oh my goodness. She pulls out things. Actually, speaking of um, she pulls out things and it's like she had those when I was like 10, I swear. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm going to show you. She, um, Mommy, look. the glue's like moving. Yep. So just lay it on there flat and, oh, and pat it. In the book. It's all right. Yeah. Sometimes the color, if you move it around, it's Emma's fine. moving it's hers around and the color may bleed. So just put it on there it's flat fine. and like just, this? yep. And then leave it. So I'm going to show you guys here. Where's the thing? Over here on the side, what my mom did. She was telling me how she just misses the crafts. I remember crafting with my mom. 
And I know she's got a whole bunch of stuff she's hoarded. I know it's going to be hard to show you because my thing's up. So my mom for Easter, I gotta get up because I can't see, um, had these. She said they were all connected together. So she wanted to bring something for Easter dinner because I host now. So she had these and they were all broken. So she pulled them out and was like, oh, what can I do with these? Because she bought me flowers. So she had a glass mug and she hot glued them. So you guys, isn't that cute? It's just a little centerpiece that my mom made. I love it. That's the best thing too, you guys, is when you can do things like that. Crafting. All right. Oh, those are they're flowers. Yeah, do, yeah, guys, you can do more. There you go. I need the pencil to paint it. Pencil. All right, let's see. Jenna made two sunflowers. How cute is that? Hi, Donna. Thank you. <laughs> I know. So these are two sunflowers. At first, I thought she was just doing a unique uh, pattern. But you can see, here's the orange for the middle and the yellow petals on both. Isn't that pretty? Good job. I love their creativity. My girls are so creative. So there's those. Mommy's not being very creative, am I? <laughs> well, I could. I Want my white paper? No, it's all right. I can't think of anything. Usually I have to, like, Google and think of quotes or something, you know. Um, I think last year. I know white letters. Something about Cookie, courage or something. Banana. Right? Mom, well, yeah, just like this. Know. Best mom in the world. Well, you can do E and and. So I'm going to make one more. I'm going to make a bunch more. Ooh, okay, so I, this paper here has words. I wonder, they're probably, you could probably do some. Mm-hmm. Yep. A little flower. Let's see what else I have. Ooh, those are pretty. So yeah, these would make great magnets too. You know, you guys, what you could do is you do a set of them, you know, doing your different flowers and stuff. Yeah, and then you give them as a gift. These would work for, for I think Day. Mother's Day, which is coming up, is perfect. You put them like in a little uh, gift box or bag that you can also get at the Dollar Tree. Don't you guys love shopping at the Dollar Mommy, Tree? Is, is that what they look like? What, a baseball? So I'm going to do... I wouldn't know because I don't play I think it. I'm going to do one of these flowers. I don't remember what else there is here. I love this paper, though. It's so cool. So I'm going to do one more while the girls are finishing up theirs. You should do one of Can you guys see me? My way down do off the paper. Of one of those. Yeah. The marbled. You guys can. Yeah. So. Well, how easy is that, you guys? Really, really, really easy. That is what I am all for, you guys. Easy. You know, everything is super busy, it seems, nowadays. Everybody's always constantly doing stuff. It's hard to find the time to do things sometimes. So when you do have the time to sit and... Oops, I did too. Um, it's nice to do something that doesn't going to completely exhaust you if you know what I mean <laughs> I don't know sometimes I find things on Pinterest and I go to look at it and I'm like ugh, I can't do that like I'm not even gonna try that seems like, just like so too many steps mm -hmm. hi Jen <laughs> you're welcome yeah this is one of my favorite little crafts to do with the girls and do the gifts I think this year maybe we'll do some more magnets and give out. Yeah. Maybe maybe we can do them to can our grandparents. To, and can we do it to Abby? Abby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I have more, more or, what do you call it, Mod Pods? Yep, yeah, the glue. Yeah. Yep. Also, if you guys do, like, work party exchange things at Christmas time, you guys can create your own. I love, love, love handmade gifts. I think they are awesome. I once had somebody, it was like, it was well over a year ago. I once had somebody 
I made my own card and I had somebody tell me how cheap I was and how my niece wasn't going to like my homemade card and how dare I make something like that. Which, okay, that's that's your opinion. But to me, I was just shocked that somebody would say that. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to be cheap. I mean, I used the cardstock paper, you know, and I we'll spent my ready. time cutting it and measuring it we'll and writing on it. Right. I like it. Right. There's nothing wrong with making your own gifts in my mind. If anything... Oh, pretty. It just shows. I just love them, though. Yep, go ahead. So once the glue dries, too, it's not going to have that much of a foggy look. When you're doing it, it could have a foggy look. So, it, yep, this one dried mostly already, except for one spot. So you can see. Now these. Oh, yeah, yours, too. I did it. Ooh, so look what Jenna made. Can you see it? <laughs> so you could do this, you guys, and you could put like the number for sports. How cool is that? That's a good idea. No, which one was this one that I traced? Tootsie, did you take it? No. It's all right. Look. Yeah, I don't like this yellow. I'm not a yellow person. Yep. Can you help me find it? So there it is, you guys. How cool. I love it. So you guys are going to have to tell me if you plan on making these. And you can either leave them like this, so that way you can put them as little paperweights or, you know, on your desk. Or you can add the magnets on the back. These are super, yep, yeah, super, super, super cute. Great gift idea for Mother's Day, you guys. So what do you think, girls? Stay on. Stay on. Emma wants me to wait one more minute. She's wait. She's finishing up her last one. Her well, I'm sure the girls are going to make a bunch more yeah, now. It's not <laughs> the last one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mommy, I'm trying not to dab. I'm trying to make it smooth so I don't see bubbles. Like right here. All right. Emma's finishing up. Cut the glue. Yep. No, that's Same why I was trying to pencil, so I think the brownness didn't get smudged on anything. Oh, what, what, well, what are you making? I'm making, a, like, a night, like, with a snowy night. With oh, a snowy night with a moon. Are those people? Oh, trees. Oh, okay, I see. I couldn't yeah. tell. It almost looked like little people. Yep. So, y'all done? I just need to trim the outside. All right. I need glue. Wait, You guys don't need the foam butt brushes either. You totally could do it with those uh, paint brushes at the dollar store out. too. Yeah. I just got the foam brushes because I thought it'd be work better for my wood, my wood stuff. You almost done. I think this is my favorite. It's the marble. Yeah, and after you glue it, too, if you feel the edges up, you can go back and just trim, guys. Mommy, I think this one may be my favorite one I would is have that? done. Is I did this one. Let's see. Okay, let's hold it up. She's got the night, the moon, and I some trees. Out of this paper. Ooh, Ooh. And Jenna did the marbled I one. Ooh, green. I like the marble. Oh, how cool is the marbled? Oh, I like this. Mommy, it's like a green and blue. They both look so pretty. I, I think know. I want to do blue. All right. They look so pretty. We're going to let everybody go. Okay. Here's all our little creations. Pencil, pencil, here's a pencil, here's a pencil. Here's I'll, post, a pencil. I'll post the link with the how to do it and the uh, the actual, um. No, they'll have the pictures with the ones with the quotes in them for inspiration for you guys too, Okay. So let me know in the comments too, you guys, what you guys think. And if you're going to be trying this, super easy. I mean, what did I spend? One, let's say you bought a paintbrush at the dollar store. $3 plus the paper. I mean, you don't have to buy the paper. You probably maybe have paper at home. So, I mean, you're definitely spending, if you buy the magnets, under $5. And you can make a whole ton, you guys. Super frugal gift idea. Craft for the kids to do. It's awesome. So I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.
Let me try my Where am I? I can't find it. Did I do blue? 